So today we are opening lead acid batteries. There we go. Well, this sure looks nasty, doesn't it? Kind of try to get it apart. This plastic's old and brittle. Okay, so we have a bunch of mats right here. This is um. Okay, there's there's a lead plate, and then there's a lead oxide plate, and in between those is the insulator and it has to be the acid that connects the two. Well in here the insulator also holds the acid. Whereas like in a regular truck battery, let's, let's imagine this is a regular truck battery, it would be filled up and there would be acid sloshing around in there. Well not sloshing around, but if you shook, if you shook it it would be sloshing around in there. But in a battery like this, you, uh, the whole appeal of these is that you could turn them upside down and it wouldn't leak out. because there is an acid sloshing around in there, they have like a spongy material that is soaked with the acid and because uh, that way since the acid is soaked with it, if you turn it upside down, you know, the acid doesn't come out. I imagine if you squeeze it though, it probably would. So that looks like a lead plate to me. But if we crack it, you see it's actually like a grid. There's like lines of lead and like a like it. I don't know. This might be lead oxide. I'm not sure. It's interesting looking. It's like if you look at one of these that I've already taken apart, it's a grid of what I imagine to be lead with something else inside of it. And this something else, I, the, the lead frame is malleable but the inside is uh, like a clay almost, so I imagine that could be. So I imagine that could be the lead oxide. I don't know. One way to find out is to melt it down. And I've gotten the stuff on my hands, and it's not really burning or anything, so that's nice. So in the end, we have a glass mat on the inside. We have acid-soaked lead oxide which is like really brownish looking but yeah so we're going to now melt it in this steel cup and let's see what part melts I think I gotta let my thing warm up first though So this stuff just started to burn, and so evidently the little the stuff that they pressed in between the, the grid doesn't melt. But the uh, grid itself, some of it did melt, and I got about that much out of that. But I have since taken a couple of those grids and popped that stuff out of them, so now I just have a pure lead grid. Let's melt that and see if that melts. So those things didn't really melt too much. They just got really red hot. So maybe that's steel frame with like lead around it. I really don't know. I can't find the lead in these batteries. Unless maybe, unless maybe it's only these types of batteries that have actual lead plates. This battery's bad, so I'll rip that one apart sometime. Maybe, maybe we can try it whenever I get a better flame going. Because that's just good for like uh, soldering and small stuff, not actually melting a pot of lead. I will make the second part of this video whenever I build an acetylene um, furnace type thing. That will be awesome. 
But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And it's a great day today.